He came from this <coughs> angle, and I'm like, I saw him coming, and all of a sudden he hit the top corner over there. He didn't clear what the did I'm gonna Shut up. <laughs> Welcome back to Fab and Mode Detailing. In this video, we are going to be doing something I've had a lot of requests for, and that is glass polishing. Let's do it. Okay, so like I said, I've had a lot of requests for glass polish videos. Now, I have normally just used a regular correcting pad and a polish or a correcting cream and done it, and it usually had pretty good success. But on this window, it has some scratches on it that we want to get out. His wife used a uh, spatula to try to scrape ice off the window and scratched it. So this is the very first time you guys will ever see I've, that I'm using a rayon disc. Um, I got this from Shiny's Details. I think it was five dollars. It is a glass polishing disc, and I'll be using Griot's Garage's fine glass polish on the car. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. I have never ever used one of these, so you may see me sling this stuff everywhere, all over me, all over the hoof, whatever. But try to hold the laughs back if you can. But I'm gonna take you guys around, show you the glass real quick. Oh, I knocked you over. Let me get my light. So you see these scratches in the glass, like that one right there is a big one. It's all over the glass. So don't use spatulas to clean off ice. Metal spatulas. Metal spatulas, yeah, to clean off ice. It's all the way across the windshield. Um, our main focus over here is on the driver's side, and that's what we really want to get out. Now, when I bought the glass disc from Shine's Detail, um, the owner, Steve, I was messaging him about it and he said to make sure you keep the glass cool because you can distort it if you get it too hot. So we're gonna practice on the passenger side, just in case. Um, we'll start on that side, see how well it works, and then we'll move to the driver's side. So I'll get my six inch polisher from Greer's Garage out. That's what I'm gonna use. Get the camera set up and let's see what happens. Okay, so in the directions on the glass polish, Greer's Garage recommends claying your glass first before using the glass polish. So we're going to clay it just like we would paint. I don't use any specific, you know, glass clay or anything like that. Just a regular clay bar. This feels pretty good, actually. She don't think she got a brand new windshield. Hopefully. That'd be the first thing she looks for. Is the window? Yeah. <laughs> Just like the paint, you guys, just clay it. Show you. I don't have any gloves, but it's not really all that dirty. So I'm gonna finish claying it and we'll turn it back on. Okay, so on the fine glass polish, the directions say shake well before using and during use. But before using fine glass polish, we recommend using clay bars, so I did. Apply a small amount of fine glass polish to a gloss glass polish pad Buff onto glass by hand or using a random orbital. We're going to be using an orbital. Work product into the surface, applying more as needed. Wipe off and clean PFM with a PFM tower microfiber cloth. Now, if this does not get rid of the defects that we see, I have also their glass polish, which is a heavier polish. We're going to treat this just like paint. I'm going to do my first few passes at a quick speed. Shut it off. Check it. If I need to go put more pressure on it and go slower, we'll do that. But like I said, this is my very first time. I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to all find out together, I guess. What The only thing I don't like is it doesn't tell me what speed to have the machine on. So that kind of bothers me a little bit because I don't know how fast I need to take this. <laughs> it did have a thing that's stuck in there. Here I am trying to squeeze. I just did that in my last video. Oh my gosh. Hang on, people. Okay, let's try this again, big dummy. Oh, whoa, that comes out really fast. I'm not sure, because I know you want to butter it, just like you would a glass or a, on the paint. I just don't want to put too much on it. But I also don't want to not have some. So, all right, we're going to go with that amount. 
I'll show you guys. That's how much I put on it. I centered the pad the best I could. Cord over the shoulder. We're gonna go at a slow speed first to spread it. We're gonna stay away from the edges the best we can. And let's just see what happens. It doesn't have a very pleasant smell, I can tell you that much. It feels really weird. All right, we're gonna speed it up. Let's go to a four. Vibrates the machines of it, you can see it's moving in my hand. Too hot. Feels pretty good. Over there. All right, we're gonna remove it. It did vibrate quite a bit. I'm sure that's normal. I still see them. I think it looks better, but they're still there. So we're gonna have to bump it up. And we're just gonna put it right back on the same disc, but we're gonna use their heavier duty cut. This one was open. No, it's not open either. Brand new bottle. And it feels so much different than it does on paint. Let's see if this stuff's real runny. It's not as bad as the other one was. All right, let's try it again. Ooh, that feels like that's definitely grittier. Hopefully that improved it. It does wipe off easy. See anything? I think it's better for sure. It's better, but because I still see some right there, and it may take a couple passes. The glass is not real hot, so that's a positive. Now the polish is getting down on all those rock chips. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's not a rock chip. <laughs> yeah, there's a spatula chip. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you break the ice. I'm going to show you guys, when you wipe it off, it does fill up your microfiber. Hopefully the lighting will show you guys that. You can see right in here, the polish. I'm going to blow my pad out. And then we'll take it for another round. And then hopefully that'll be good enough. Yeah. 
Definitely still see him. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I have no idea. Check your fingernails. See how it... I don't feel it. It's definitely better. I'm gonna clean it up and see if... Get all the polish residue off the glass. Definitely better. In fact, you can barely see the ones that, these are the, from the wipers. Yes. There's, I can see one right there. Yeah, it's definitely better. It ain't gonna be perfect. Only way to get perfect is a brand new windshield. Yeah. <laughs> if that's the worst she's gonna do to the vehicle, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it is dusting, I can tell you that, it's dusting. Okay, so we're on to the driver's side, which is where the majority of the scratches are. Hoping the light picks them up. As you can see, these scratches going up and down, like right here. See, oh, that's good right there at the light. All those, that's what we gotta try to get out. It did not take them completely out over here, but they are so much better. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna, this is the best view I can give you on this side. Right there. So just to give you an idea, this is how much I'm using after it's already buttered. Pretty big spots. Did anything at all. I know it did. I'm sure it helped, but I could see it. When I get done with the final polishing, I'll use glass cleaner on it. Okay, I still see them, but they're not bad. Okay, you can still see them. Let's see if I can show you guys. But they're not nearly as bad as they were. Okay, I'm not seeing it very well. Look right here. Right there. My finger's pointing at them, right there. You can still see them, but it's not terrible. But I have found that a second try every time usually takes care of it for the most part. Yeah, that's the big one right there, and I can still see it too. You're seeing a lot of dusting. It does dust like crazy. All right. Give it one more round here.
All right, so I'm all done. So I did use glass cleaner on it. For the most part, it got rid of almost all of them. These ones you guys are seeing going this way, that's from the wipers. Looks like they've been there a long time. It made them those better, but they're not completely gone. But it definitely looks a lot better, other than the chips in the in the glass. Where's my light at? There it is. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Bless the April. Wave it, everybody. Oh, there you go. Everybody can see you. Yep. There we go. All right, so as far as glass polishing is concerned, I'm still an amateur at that using these rayon discs. I've always used just a regular polishing disc in, in a compound of some sort, which always worked okay, but it wouldn't have done nearly what this did. This did a really good job. Um, I was just talking to the hoof and we're both kind of sitting out of, of happiness as far as a one out of a 10, we're about a seven. It did get rid of most of the imperfections because before we could feel them with our fingernails. Now you can't feel them with your fingernails. They're kind of there, but they're really light, not bad at all. And once, it, like I said, I'm still a rookie at using these. I think I think I should have bought two of them because it's really, really uh, soft now. And when I first started, it was it was really, really firm, really hard. And I think that's what helps get rid of the defects. So you probably need two of these to do a true get glass polishing. Now remember, you don't want to get the windshield too hot because there is plastic in between the two layers of glass, and you can distort it if you get the window too hot. So don't do that. Um, what was the temperature? 78. 78 is as hot as we got it and it's probably about 70 in the garage. So about 80 degree, eight degrees hotter than ambient temp. That's not bad at all. I probably could have gone slower and gotten better defect removal. But like I said, it's my first time. I didn't want to ruin the glass. It looks a lot better. We're happy with it. We use Griot's Garage's uh, glass polish and Shiny's Details rayon glass disc. You know, we're, looks really good, happy with it. Now we're gonna put a sealant on it and that's gonna be in the next video. So I hope you guys join me in that video. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button while you're down there, hit that little bell so every time I upload a video, you get notified. And don't forget, every Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we go live and I'd like to see each and every one of you there.